is an awesome God he reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God. Bishop, Lord. Yes. Lord, we thank you for her healing and her strength, Lord, and how you continue to keep her, Lord, strengthening her day by day, God. We thanking you, Lord. Thank you for her being in our presence, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the ones that's under the sound of my voice, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the one that is not here, Lord. We ask that you will bless them, put a fire up on them, Lord. And let them know, Lord, that we need you. And we can't get along without you, God. Lord, you are the one, Lord, the reason why we wake up in the morning. Just to say thank you, Lord, for another day. Oh, that we never seen before. Oh, we praise you, Jesus, and thank you, Lord. Thank you for this, your service, this part, Lord. Lord, we ask, Lord, that you be in control. Lord, it's not about us, but it's all about you, God. Help us to stay focused on you, God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, so that we can be a help to others, Lord. And help them to know that they need to come crying out. What must I do to be saved? Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for the word that's going to come forth, Lord. Lord, we ask that you let our bishop down in the deep treasures of your word. Lord, and ask that you help us to apply the word to our lives. Lord, it's not just that we hear it. Lord, but we need to be doers of your word. Oh, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for all things in Jesus' name. We pray, amen, amen. amen. and amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Grateful and thankful to you, Lord Jesus, for everything and for all. Thank you, you dying on the cross for me. Were you drinking <coughs> for my sin? Oh God, how awesome you are! Yeah. I thank you, Lord, for all your peoples, the ones that. In this house, the one that in other houses, the ones that is around the world, I said thank you. Amen. Thank you, God. I to ask you to touch their minds and their heart. Amen. That they may want to do they don't know you may want to run to you when yes. they hear that sweet word yes. that you have penned. I thank you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Right now we are coming to you from First Corinthians, the first chapter. Verse 1 through 9 verses. Amen. Yeah, we used to sit down oh, but now we stand for the reading of the word. Amen. Amen. Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ. For the will of God and some things our brother. Unto the church of God, which is at correct, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints, with all that in every place called upon the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, both theirs and ours. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 4, I thank my God always on your behalf, Paul is saying, mm -hmm. for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ, yeah. that in everything we are enriched mm -hmm. by him 
in all utterance and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ, the anointed one, was confirmed in you, so that ye might behind, so that ye come behind in no gift, waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall also confirm you unto the end, that you may be blameless in that day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful by whom you were called unto the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. I thought today is the church, a fellowship of believers. Amen. The church, you may be seated, a fellowship of believers. Paul was a great writer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He penned more books than any other disciple. And as I was first studying and reading and getting this lesson together, <coughs> I was reading where Paul taught the word of God in Corinthians for 18 months. Praise God. I've been here 27 years. Praise God. Paul taught it for 18 months, and that was in AD 51 through AD 52. And he was leaving when he left to go and start another ministry, start do missionary work somewhere else. Apollo, he left to preach and to teach in his absence. And this is what we do when we can't not do it ourselves. We leave somebody else to do it, and they're supposed to carry on as I carried on, carry on the word of God. Amen. Corinthian was a people's divided, was a people's, do, did a lot of things. And Paul left somebody in charge to try to get them straight. Amen. Amen. God is a good God. Yeah. But God is telling us today, we are a church. This here is not a church. We are the church. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise be to God. We have discovered in the word of God that the church is not a building. This building here is going to rock when we all, the church is gone. If don't nobody take care of it, it'll fall apart. If don't nobody come in here that's left behind to put God first, uh, the church be in the building, it will get rotten and it will get cobwebs and it will get a whole lot of things and it'll start falling apart. That's the building. And the building is not going up to God. But you are. Amen. You are the church. Yes, amen. You are the church yes. of God. Yes, Folks want to put that as a denomination, but you are amen. the church of God. Amen. Amen. Every believer, if you're a believer, a believer. Mm -hmm. hallelujah, you're the church of God in Christ. Amen. Because you could not get to God except you come through Christ. Amen. Anybody here? Be good. Praise yes. God. Hallelujah. So we already know that the church is not a building. But it's the people who belong to God. Do yes. you belong to God? Yes. Yes. I know I do. Amen. Anybody who asks me, I ain't got to study about it. I ain't got to Amen. stumble about it. I can say, yes, I do. Amen. I belong to God. Amen. Amen. Because he's coming Amen. back for me. Amen. He's coming back for me. I want to I wanna say this. I I was talking to uh, uh, Brother Triggs on yesterday, and I was, God, by my heart, just went out. You know what? We don't realize that I'm going to bring that as a message. I don't know if I'm going to bring it as a message or a teaching because it is so deep and it's so good. Mm. It is so good and it's really talking about the cup. Mm. And we ain't thought about nothing. The, the church really don't think about the cup. <laughs> Amen. He had, he said, if, if he asked the, asked the Lord, he said, if it's possible, let this cup pass for me. Y'all don't realize what that cup is. Y'all don't realize what went into that cup. You know, but it is going to be, see, when I when, when I search the scriptures, God give me certain things. And I understand that everybody, he give them to me because I 
am supposed to teach them to you. He don't just give them to me to hold on to them for myself. You know, but what the good is going to do me, I already got it. I already got it, and I'm going to walk in it. So now God wants us to, when God gives you something, give it to somebody else so they can get it too. Hallelujah. Why are you holding on to it for just you? Amen. We are a church. We are a fellowship of believers. And we're supposed to do what? Love one another. Hallelujah. Comfort one another. Help one another. This is what the church does. I'm teaching y'all for that. Yeah, you I ain't going to preach no more. I am good. going to tell you what thus said the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Jesus, he is our good shepherd. Yeah. Yes, he is. And I, I say to you today, Jesus is the shepherd of this house. Amen. And of every house, whether they allow him to be or not. But and I'm just the under shepherd. And I'm grateful for him. I'm grateful for the chief shepherd. Yes. Lead and guide and direct it. Amen. Amen. When you don't know, you need to talk to him. Amen. We need to learn how to talk to our Amen. Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Talk to him. Yes, Lord. And like you go and talk to your friend, talk Amen. to Jesus. Amen. Because he here, he hears oh, everything. Yes, he's like, well, he, 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 he does. He hears you. He hears me. We all can be talking to him at the same time. Oh, great guy. Great guy. He's got an ear to he's hear. And I'm grateful Thank for that. You, Amen. Yeah. Amen. He's the good shepherd. Yes, he is. And the pastor serves as the under shepherd. Yeah. So that's what I am. The under shepherd. Praise God. Because I get my leading and my guiding from my shepherd. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. He been through. He went through it. He did it all. I can't do nothing except that he did it. Because he said he didn't do nothing except the father said so. He saw what the father did. He did. I have to see what Jesus did. I do. Yeah. You do what you see me do. Don't do things that you don't see me do. Amen. Praise Amen. be to God because I am your leader. Amen. Amen. If, I, if your leader is not walking right, your leader is not upright or doing the right things that God has called your leader to do, then you ought to walk away. Amen. Walk away. You don't have to be on a leader that I'm not leading you, Amen. not giving Amen. you the right direction Amen. because he is the right direction. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you, Jesus is the right he direction. Did. Praise God. And if we don't follow the right direction, if I'm not following that right direction, y'all don't need to be under me. You know, and I, I, like I tell you, you can walk out the door when I'm not doing right. Because, see, I ain't got nothing else to do but to follow Jesus. Amen. There is nothing else that excites me Amen. but him. I get excited about the word of God. I get oh, yeah. excited about the Lord Jesus. Oh, yeah. I get excited about when I read what yeah. he did, when I read about his miracles, when I read about the healing, I read yeah. about the things that Jesus did for the people. I read about the, the disciples wasn't all together right, just like uh -huh. you say. They Amen. wasn't all together right, praise Amen. be to God, but Jesus didn't put them out. No, he didn't. Come on. No, he, didn't. he taught them. He laughed with them. He ate yeah. with them. He slept yeah. with them. Come on here. Yeah. I don't have to do that. I have to teach you the word of God. I ain't got to eat with you if I don't want to. Amen. Praise Amen. be to God. And I definitely don't have to sleep with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Amen. But he Amen. did that to his disciples. But let me tell you something. Once the power of God comes into your life, you change it. That. You cannot be yes. the same no more. No, you, you know, cannot. even though they walk with Christ, they Amen. walk with Jesus. Amen. But the power of God, when they got baptized with there the Holy is. Ghost, yeah. Amen. Because Peter was a hardcore. But when he got baptized oh, with the Holy Lord. Ghost, God did something to that man. God did something to that man. God, he changed. And them disciples turned the world upside down, y'all. Are you listening to me? They couldn't turn nothing upside down. Amen. Until Jesus went back and the Holy Spirit came and they received. Are you hearing me? They had fellowship. They knew about fellowship. Praise God. The fellowship of the believer. They went and they told it just like it was. Amen. Ain't nobody got no time to sugarcoat the word of God. Ain't nobody got no time to pet you. Ain't nobody got no time to pat you on your back. You better get it right. Amen. Ain't nobody got no time for their arms around you, hugging on you. It's going to be all right. No, you better get it right. Come on. Amen. Praise God. We got to get this thing right for ourselves. Can't nobody get it right for me. I don't care how good of friends you are. They can't lie for you. You wasn't born with them. You don't live with them. And you ain't gonna die with them. You gonna lie. You was born by yourself. You gonna, I don't care if you're twin. One came out first. Y'all hear me? Amen. 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 We gonna die by ourselves. So we might as well, as a church, as believers, know 
that we going to leave here and going to be by ourselves. Yeah. And we're going to stand before God by ourselves. Yeah. Ain't nobody going to be there holding your hand. You better get your own life right with God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Quit leaning and depending on other folks. Yeah. All you need to do is lean and depend upon our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, the anointed one yeah. in his anointing. Hallelujah. Because Christ is not his last name. Christ is his anointing. Yeah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Isn't God good, y'all? Yeah. The church is a body. Amen. A body of Christ. It's the body of Christ in which Christ lives, in which the anointed. And that's who you're supposed to be anointed if you're a believer. Yeah. There's supposed to be some anointed in your life. Jesus Christ. Jesus is his name, and Christ is his anointed. Are you anointed? Yeah. Are you anointed? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. You ain't got to wonder about it because Amen. it ain't no goosebumps. Come on. Amen. And it ain't no hair standing up on your head or on your arm or whatever. It is the anointing, the believing of what you believe in. Praise God. And how you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you in that direction that you believe in. Don't be going off, 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 off course with the devil because that's his job. He's on his job because he soon he got it. Yeah, yeah, it's closer than we think. Amen. Y'all know it is closer than we think. Oh, they've been saying that for years. Yes, they have, but it is so close you ought to feel it. Yeah. I feel it in the atmosphere. That's why you ought to put something in the atmosphere. You ought to put something out there in the atmosphere. So you, feel it. you ought to let it know I've been known out there in the atmosphere. Why are you holding on to it? Hold on. Give it out there in the atmosphere so somebody else can grab a hold to it. They don't know how to praise the Lord. Praise Him your own way. Get loud. Praise be to God. Quit being quiet. Get loud. Amen. Because God make a loud noise. We got to learn how to make a loud noise. And how to praise Him. And you can worship Him. You can love on Him in sweetness, in quietness, in loudness, whichever. But worship and praise is two different things. Glory to God. You ain't pra in praises. I, I ain't clapping my hand. But in, 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 in praises, in worship, I'm not clapping my hand. But in praises, I am. I am clapping loud. I am clapping. I am hollering. I am jumping. I am shouting. Come on. Because I'm a fellowship of believers. I believe what God said to me. I believe that David danced before the Lord until he danced naked. I believe that. I believe what the word of God says. I believe the prayer of God. I believe everything that God pinned in it for. I believe it. I don't want to come in here telling you something I don't believe. Amen. No. What comes from the heart reaches the heart. Y'all hear me, don't you? Amen. Now, he lives through in us. He carries on his re redemptive mission in the world through us. Amen. See, he done been here. He done walked here. He done lived here on this earth. But he did, does that no more. You do. So he, what, it, what does he do? He worked through you. Amen. He carried on his redemptive work. Where? Who? Through you. Praise be to God Almighty. It's you that is going to talk to the people. It's not Jesus. Jesus ain't coming down and talk to no sinner and tell them to be saved. It is you. Amen. It is you that are doing that work. It is you that are talking to people about God. It is you that are laying hands on the sick and they recover. It is you. Praise God. You got to know. I'm a believer. That's what you got to tell yourself. You got to tell yourself until you know it. Amen. But you got to be one. Because you ain't going to believe it yourself if you're not. A lot of times folks just saying stuff. Amen. Love, love, but what you believe? Yeah. I believe well, what do yeah, you believe? Yeah. Praise be yeah. God. Well, who do you believe? Yeah. My preacher. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. You gotta believe God. Amen. And you must believe God's word. He's good. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God, because your teacher and your preacher ain't got nowhere to put you. Amen. Amen. And they got a lot of tongue just like you got one. Uh -huh. And their tongue can lie just like yours. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. We don't always tell the truth, or we'll tell so much of the truth and write in that the devil get it in like he did with Eve. Tell so much of the truth. But then after that, you know what? We got to know the truth. And then the truth is gone. We're going to make us free. We got to know, know the truth. And I say, oh God, I want the truth. I want to know the truth. I want to know what you know. Amen. Amen. Because Paul said, oh, that I may know the power of your resurrection. Uh, I want to know. I want to know. See, I've been studying on what got him up. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. I, I, Oh, Lord, it is so awesome. Our Lord is an awesome God. 
if we would stop and think about what he went through for us, you know, if, if the church, the body of Christ, would just stop and think about what Jesus Christ went through for us, we would do better. We really will do better. And you know, if, if you would stop and think, I think I told y'all on another Sunday, if you look around and you said, if everybody was like me, oh, we'll have a glorious church. Amen. If everybody was like me, <laughs> we may run out the door. Come on, you have to stop and think. If that's me, if everybody in the church was like me, what would our church be like? What would our church be like? You got to compare that. So if everybody was lazy, we got a lazy church. Ain't everybody sitting down, because ain't nobody doing nothing. Are you listening to me? Yeah. I'm talking about the church, a fellowship of believers. Yeah. Of believers. We got to learn how fellowship ain't going out just to eat. Mm -hmm. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. Praise be to God Almighty. God is an awesome God. Praise God. I love it. The church is a fellowship of believers. The Father, God, has called us out of darkness. Yeah. I'm not in darkness. And when I walk in, darkness got to go. Yeah. Are you hearing me? I said, when I walk Amen. in, darkness got to go. I am not in darkness. Yes. Amen. I am in light. And let my light shine. Yes. I want my light to shine yes, that men may see God yes, in me. Yes, Amen. Not the devil. Come on now. Amen. But you know what? Sometimes we can be in the house and all of a sudden the devil, he always yes. in here. He's always in here. But you know when somebody can say something, boom, the devil shows right up. Shows right up. He is. Are you hearing me? You know, I, I, I just want y'all to know that this is, well, Gospel Deliverance Center is what it says. It is not a denomination. It is a non-denomination of church. It is the full gospel preached. Amen. Taught, amen. amen. The fivefold ministry supposed to go forth in this house, amen. amen. It ain't no denomination, amen. Folks can just pick a word, pick a scripture out the word of God and make a denomination out of it. No, you preach the full gospel, and then if you need deliverance, you need, all you need to do is come up here and get it. Amen. You need to know within yourself that you need deliverance. Amen. Amen. Can't no, ain't nobody, I don't like to have to tell you, come up and be delivered from this and that and the other. I don't like to have to tell you that. Amen. You already know what you need deliverance from. Amen. Hey, we all know ourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Everybody knows what they need to be delivered from. And then, you know, and then, why are you shame? Get yourself delivered because suppose God come for you tonight and you ain't delivered. Say, so, well, I'm, 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 I'm saved. You ain't delivered. All right. You saved, but you ain't delivered. Make it plain. Make it plain. Allow God. Allow God, God to deliver you from certain things of the flesh. Yeah. Certain things of the flesh. Amen. Your spirit is saved. Your flesh is not. Are you hearing me? Amen. Ain't no good thing, Paul said, no in this flesh. Thing. What is word. good about that flesh? Nothing. Praise God, but your spirit man is. But you need more. Yeah. Why he said that he wasn't going to leave you comfortless? Yeah. Because he knew that we needed a comforter. Yeah. He knew that we needed Thank somebody to Because Jesus, the disciples would have went wild. Mm -hmm. Judah did. Oh, yeah. If Jesus wasn't walking with them. So he wasn't going to leave them like that. He didn't want them to go crazy when he no, leave. No. He, when he died, and he done told them they're going to die, and Peter, and Peter rebuked him. Right. When you tell the truth, folks, they ain't going to rebuke you face to face, but they'll go to somebody else. Yeah, they'll right. go and tell somebody else. Did you hear that? <laughs> did, you, did you hear what they said? Nah. Did you hear what she said? Mm -hmm. Do you believe that? Come on. All why right. you get somebody else caught up in your mess? Right. Why you want to put somebody else with you the way you believe? Amen. Saints, have your own beliefs. Amen. Have your own Jesus. Amen. You're your friends, not your Jesus. Amen. Your mother, your sister, your brother, your husband, your wife, they are not your Jesus. Jesus is your Jesus. Y'all hear me good. I'm talking about a church of believers that believe in our Lord and our yes, Savior, Jesus yes, Christ. Yes. Amen. Amen. The only way you're going to get to God is through him. That's what the word Thank you, Lord. 
Amen. I'm not in darkness. What about you? Because he called me out of darkness yes, into his light. Yes. Into his light. And I'm going to walk in that. Hallelujah. I'm going to walk in that. All I'm going to do is tell you the truth. Yes. And I'm going to take. See, what I'm preaching now is 1 Corinthians. Amen. First through one. Yes. This is what I'm talking about, a fellowship. Verse 9 tells us about God is faithful. Yes, he is. Amen. God is a faithful God. Thank you. Hallelujah. And he a God that will do whatever it is that he said he would do. If you hear him and if you walk in him, if you obedient to him, if you love him and if you do what he said to do, hey, he won't hold no good things from you. That's the word. I'm a living witness. I'm a living witness. If y'all knew what I went through when I had this back surgery, if y'all knew what I went through, you would be saying, I don't see how she did that. Now. But I am here. Amen. It is all because of God. I'm saying this again. It is all because of God. I give God the, the credit. I give God the praise. I give God the glory because he brought me. Amen. He brought me. Back to back, two surges, five, seven hours. Come on, somebody. Praise God. You under, you under, you out of it. You dead. You ain't know nothing. Yeah. Oh, it. One day, you don't know nothing. You get up, you come back to the bed, come back next morning, you're ready to do that all over again. Come on, somebody. All right, yeah. But I'm a believer. Amen. I believe God when Great I went God. in. I believe God when I came out. Amen. I believe God when I couldn't do nothing for myself. Amen. Come on, because there will come a time that you won't be able to do nothing you. for yourself if you live long enough. Yeah. You. If you live long enough. Yeah. Praise yeah. be to God Almighty, but I am a believer yeah. because I'm the church of Jesus Christ. I am. I am not the whole universal church, but I am part of the church. Amen. Praise God. I am. And y'all best get it right too. All right? All right. <clears throat> Amen. But I don't like the way Bishop do this. Now, I don't care whether you like it or not. If you don't like what I do, go to somebody that you do like. <laughs> Amen. Because you and him, or you and him, or you and her both can fall in the ditch. You and her both can go to hell. Come on, I, whether you love me or whether you like me or whether you care about me or whatever, it don't matter. I know who loves me. Are you listening to me? I said, I know who loves me. And that is God. That is Jesus. Praise be to God Almighty. Leads me, guide me every day. Amen. That's why I teach. I try to teach more than I holler. I don't want to holler at you. I want you to hear me. I don't want you to holler at me. I want you to hear what I'm saying to you. And right now, and this is it. Are you a church? Yes, I am a church. Do you have fellowship? Yes, I do have fellowship. And I ain't tell my going out to have dinner. I ain't tell my sitting down to have lunch. When you come together, do you talk about the word? Come on. And not every please give me a break. Do you talk about the word? No. Talk about everything else but the word of God. Hallelujah. Talk about me. Talk about others. Talk about this, that, and the other. But God said, you are a fellowship of believers. And you ought to be telling others, even though they ain't where you are, even as ministers, you're not, the lay people are not where you are. You're not where I am. Praise be to God. We are, have, we have different, God called us in different, different areas. God taught, called me to be a leader over you. God called you to minister to the peoples. God called you to pray for the peoples. God called you to teach the peoples. God called. He got a calling for everybody. Okay. Know your calling. All right, all right. Quit walking in somebody else's calling or trying to do what somebody else is doing. That's not your business. Your yeah. business is what God called you to do. Yeah. Do what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Hallelujah. Quit talking about other folks. Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. See, that's why I don't like it, because all bishop do is fuss. That ain't fussing, that's just the word. That's the truth. That's the word of God. Amen. Hey man, I ain't got time to fuss. I ain't got I ain't need to fuss at you. What am I gonna do that? It don't help you. It don't help you at all. By me fussing, it don't help you, and it sure don't help my blood pressure. All right, all right. Glory to God. Down, Lord. Bring it down. I'm in the light. I am out of despair. Yes, thank you. I ain't, I ain't despairing about nothing, and I got hope. Hallelujah. Amen. I tell you, I got hope. Yes. What about you? Amen. Amen. Faith is now, but hope is tomorrow. I yes. hope I see tomorrow. Hallelujah. If I don't, that's okay. Hallelujah. Can you say that? Yes. If you see tomorrow, 
if you don't see tomorrow, will it be all right? Will it be all right? Can you say, if I don't see tomorrow, I'm all right. I'm okay. Because I'm all right with God. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen to me, children of God. Hey, I got it. Jesus, he loves you. And we have fellowship of his dear son, of God's dear son, who is the Lord. Amen. Because of the gracious and the loving ministry of the Father, God, he loved us. And you really know that he said in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world. He loved this world so much he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Do you want everlasting life? And can't nobody make you get everlasting life, but you have to get that on your own. On your own. Glory to God. Isn't God good? Yes. We have fellowship of the Spirit. We have intimacy of virtue. Relationship. I have a relationship with the Lord. Do you? Yes. I have a relationship with Him. Yes. Do you? Yes. We need to have a relationship when we used to Amen. what we used to do. Somebody would say, What I I don't do it now. You know, and that's that's bad things. I don't do the bad things I used to do. Praise be to God. But I'm doing good things. But then I used to read too. And I used to pray a lot too. But I don't even do that no more. Get back to it. Amen. Get back to it. Get back to talking to God. You ain't got to holler and hoop at God. All you need to do is talk to him. Anybody here? I said all you need to do is talk to God. You talk to your friends. You talk to your neighbors. Come on here. All you need to do is talk to God. God has got a listening ear. He's an all hearing God. He's an all knowing God. Amen. Thank you Lord. We share in a remarkable image, unity. You do, I do. And see, unity is what God loves in the church. Unity in the church. Number one, ours is the uni unity of the new birth. Amen. Amen. Hey, you've got to be born again. Mm -hmm. He told Nicodemus, a Pharisee, you got to be born again. you got to be born of the water and of the spirit. You want to know, how can I be there? How can I do that? But you, get, but you need to be born again because you've already been born of the flesh. But now you need to be born of the Spirit. Hallelujah. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah. Amen. God, Jesus, if, he, if we didn't need the Holy Ghost, why would God send it back? The Lord couldn't save us in the first place. That's why God said, okay, I'm going to have to get somebody to go down there so yeah. I can save my people yeah. from their sin because the law couldn't do it. Adam, you, you sacrifice an animal for a year and cover your sins because come on here, I don't want my sins covered. I want my yeah. sins done away with. Yeah. I want to wipe my snot wipe clean. Wipe come on. Clean. Wipe clean. Hallelujah. When I ask for forgiveness, I want to be forgiven for Thank the things you, that I have done. Praise be to God Almighty. There ain't no time for us to run around here hooping and hollering and ain't doing nothing. All right. Ain't doing nothing. We ain't, we ain't doing nothing for God but sitting down being lazy. That's all we're doing. Sitting down being lazy. We don't need to be lazy. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Yep, he is. God is an awesome God. And ain't nobody like him, people. No, it's not. Amen. You need, to, you need a pastor that's going to tell you Amen. the truth. Amen. Don't sugarcoat it and don't put no honey on it. Uh -uh. Don't compromise. No, no. See, a lot of folks want to want compromises. They do. And I ain't finna compromise with nobody. I am not. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Thank if you, you in sin, come out of it. Thank you. And the only way to come out of it is Jesus the Christ. Yes. Jesus can bring you out of it Thank when we open Lord. up our mouth and ask forgiveness yes, for our Lord. sin. Hallelujah. Amen. God forgive me. But I did. Oh God, I spoke to her so roughly. Forgive me. I spoke to him and I, I wouldn't I didn't mean it like that, Lord. Forgive me. And then ask that person, look, I didn't mean to hurt you. Forgive me. Quit running around here. I ain't got to forgive him. I ain't did nothing wrong with your wrong sin. You done did something wrong. Learn how to ask forgiveness. Learn how to say, forgive me. And Lord, forgive me. When you pray. First of all, get oh, yourself yeah. cleaned up. But oh, if yeah. you can't pray for nobody else, if you dirty. Uh, okay. All right. So that number one was the new birth experience. If we are children of God through faith in Christ Jesus. And number two, I'm going to give you some scriptures in a minute. Okay. 
Number two, ours is the unity of a common faith. Amen. A common faith in who? In a one Lord. We got one Lord and the Bible said one baptism. One Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Amen. We are brothers and sisters in Christ. How come we sit down and act like, I don't love my sister. I don't love my brother. I don't want to fellowship with them. I don't need to sit next to them. You know, our church used to be full. Right now it's empty. Where are the people? Where are the people? Because they come in and they look at you and they see not love. They used to come in and see nothing but love. Then we run around, we lead the church, and then we spread venom. When we lead, we tell everybody, this one ain't right, that one ain't right. Why are you, why are you, why are you spreading venom? Why are you doing this? You wasn't the church in the first place. The church does not do that. The church is in you. The church does not do that. The church does not talk evil about you and me. The church does not go out and spread the venom. Venom is of a snake. Just like a wigger walking a curly snake. Amen. Why are we in the house of God? Why are we sitting up saying we love each other and get out and talk about each other? Oh, no. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. We are children of God. God loves us. Yes, Lord. I didn't hear Jesus talk about none of God. He just mm -hmm. told him the truth. Mm -hmm. He just told his disciples the yeah. truth. Praise God, he told the Pharisees the truth. Yeah. Praise God, Paul did the same thing. Mm -hmm. Peter did the same thing once he was saved. Mm -hmm. Once he showed up, was baptized with the Holy Ghost. Oh, no. He did the same thing, James and John and all the rest of them did. Yeah. Read those little books back there. Read John. Mm -hmm. Read John's book. Oh, Praise yeah. God. Read Peter's book. Mm -hmm. Read what James said. Praise God. Don't be carried about with every wind of doctrine. Come on. And every time something come along, here I go, book of the book. Every time something be said that I don't like, then I got to go and get me a little group together. No, no. It ain't good. That's not good, church. Praise God. We ain't no individualities. Amen. That we bring this one over here as an individual into our little group. We bring this one over here as an individual in our little group. We go to the back, we get somebody else in our little group. But listen, why are you getting a group to come against the rest of the people? Why are you getting a, what you call it, a clique? That's what you call it. You call it a clique. Ain't no clique got no business being in the church. It ain't. Praise God, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, we are individuals, and you got to be saved individually, but we are a corporate body. All right. yes. Yes. And we are supposed to want love one another. Amen. We are supposed to be helpers. The Bible says it yes. on one another. Yes. I'm not yes. telling you nothing that it ain't in the book. Yes. I might not give you any scripture, but I, in, it's in there. Yes. If I quote it, it's in there. Yes. I ain't going to give you nothing that is not in the Bible. Yes. I don't need to do that. I don't need to, I ain't trying to make myself look good to nobody. All I want to be looking good to, all I want the person that look at me and think I'm looking good is God. I want Jesus to say, well done, my good and faithful service. That's what I want him to do. You ain't, you ain't got nowhere to put me, so you ain't got to tell me well done about nothing. Amen. I want him to tell me well done. Amen. And that's why I'm going to do what he tells me to do. Anybody here? Amen. All right, number three. Hallelujah. Ours is the unity of the indwelling spirit. What is the indwelling spirit? I already got, I got Jesus. I got Jesus. I got enough. No, you don't. You got Jesus, but you don't have enough. Because you don't have what keeps you out of trouble. You don't have the baptism of the Holy Ghost, which keeps you out of trouble. And when you want to do something, the Holy Spirit said, don't do that. When you want to go somewhere, the Holy Spirit will say, don't go there. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. No, you need Jesus yeah, to tell you because you already got him on the inside, but he ain't coming down here and tell you nothing. The Holy Spirit is going to tell you don't yeah. do that. Hallelujah. Don't He's say that. Right. Don't go there. Yeah. Oh, don't treat them like yeah. that. Yeah. You shouldn't treat them like that. Yeah. Love them. Yeah. The Holy Ghost is a leader. Yeah. 
Yes. The Holy Ghost is a guide. Yes. A Holy Ghost will yes. teach, guide, yes. deliver yes. you if you want to be delivered. That's right. The Holy Spirit is the one that does it. Amen. When you come up here, Jesus, you come up here to the altar. You, Jesus ain't up here this altar doing your thing for you. It's the Holy Ghost working. It's the Holy Spirit working. Amen. Amen. Jesus is working through the individual. He said this in the Word of God. The Holy Ghost does not do anything that he didn't do. It says what Jesus says. It does what Jesus, he does what Jesus does. Like Jesus said, he do what the Father said. And then the Holy Ghost, they won. Well, what the Holy Spirit do? He do what Jesus said. Because you can't go wrong with Jesus already done, done what the Father yeah, said to do. Yeah, and the Holy Spirit is coming along doing what Jesus tells him to do. What you want to do? Do what you want to do. No, we need to be led by the Holy Ghost. We be, need to be led by the Holy Spirit. I ain't teaching you nothing that ain't in the book. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. And I ain't preaching. I don't come up here to preach on nobody. I don't come up here to preach at nobody. I try to give you what thus said the Lord, what God has given me. <laughs> and sometimes I, it might change when I sit here. But the night and day, it did change. It did not change because that's what he said on, on last week when I was studying. And, and yesterday when I went over it again, this is what he <laughs> said to bring you, the church. Amen. A fellowship of believers. Let you know who you are. Yeah. If you don't know, you ought to know by the time I get finished. Know who you are. Amen. Praise be to God. I said you are a unity <coughs> indwelling spirit of the Holy Spirit because he is the gift. See, the Holy Ghost is the gift of God. Amen. It's the gift of God to each one of us. It's a gift. It is a gift. Do you, yeah. do you, you know, a gift just don't fall on you. A gift you receive. A gift you receive. Did you know that I was a gift from God to you? Yeah, yeah. A gift you receive. <coughs> Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. If I got a gift for you and you don't ever take it from me, you won't receive that gift. That's right. The one thing about it, you got to stop and think about that. You got to stop and think about that. I want what God has for me. Amen. What about you? Yes, I want what God has for me. I can't have your stuff. He, he didn't get that for me. What God give gives to Brady did he didn't give that to me. I can't I can't go over there and say, I want your stuff. Right. I'm gonna have this. You know, I, I was I was watching something and this woman was, was something on TV and this woman was going around taking stuff out of folks' baskets. I'm like, can I have this? She said, You could I didn't get it. I got can I have this? She just taking stuff out the woman's basket. Uh -huh. or out the people's basket because she didn't want to go over her lazy self to get it herself. So she going to shop out of somebody else's basket. I can't shop out of your life. I can't shop out of your life. Whatever God has given you, sister, when he's given it to you. It ain't for me. It's for you. What God has given me, he's given me stuff that I'm supposed to give to you. Praise God. Amen. And if I don't be obedient to God and give you what God has given me to give you, I, I'm failing. I am failing. Come on. I don't care how nobody else preach. That's their preaching. That's like, God didn't tell me to be here. No. I got to be me. Yeah. I can't be nobody else but me. Nobody. I like to teach you. I like to tell you just like it is. Amen. I don't want Amen. to shoot a code or compromise. I, you. I am going to tell you just what the Lord says. See, the word of God to me is not boring. Me if long as I'm hearing from God, I don't get bored. But when you start talking about everything else and this, that, and the other, and it ain't giving me no 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 substance and it ain't giving me nothing to live by, then I, I get too bored. I'm ready to go. I got to get up out of here. All right. Now, let's go to uh four. Ours is the unity of one mission, as revealed in the Great Commission. What was the Great Commission? Matthew 28 and 19. That great commission, and I'm just going to give you what it said. Go teach. Go teach. If you read Matthew, the 28th chapter, the last chapter in Matthew, and you say, go. Jesus said, go. Told his disciples, go. Amen. Teach them. Baptize them. 
Come out. Praise be to God. It's things that we, the word of God tells us to do that we ain't doing. We just sitting down on him. I keep on going. Amen. Verse number five. Ours is the unity of the same substance. Hope. The glorious promise of the return. Do you hope that he's going to return? I know he's going to return. Of Jesus Christ for his own. Is he coming back for you? Yeah. Every eye going to see him. Is that what the word said? Every knee going to bow before him. Every eye going to see him. Amen. And every tongue going to confess him. Yeah. Praise be to God. No matter how you sit on these seats, I don't care whether you come to the church house or you don't come to the church house, you still going to stand before God one day. Everybody. It ain't nobody exempt. God did not tell us we were going to stay here forever. No, it didn't. He said we're here on this earth. We're just sojourners. We're here for a while. And after that, something going to happen. We go in one place. Or other. I don't know. I want to go to heaven. Amen. I don't know about y'all. Y'all don't go. Y'all don't go to hell. You know what? You gotta be so shocked and so surprised and so about and so enlightened when I do break forth talking to you about the cup. Oh God, because you don't realize what went into that cup. Hallelujah. Number six. Ours is the unity of heaven. One great enemy. And now I want you to know. And I want you to believe. You got an enemy. Well, yes, oh, we do. Yeah, we do. He's a great enemy. I was telling somebody this. I don't care how saved you are. The devil has an enemy. Has a, has a following you everywhere you go. He has somebody. By your, don't you think you're getting away with nothing because he see it and he just waiting for that little crack. That's all he wants is a crack so that he can get in there. Praise be to God. So don't think you exempt all the same. No, no, no. He is. He's always got something right there. When you walk into the church, your little imp walking into. Praise be to God. You go somewhere else, your little imp do the same thing. The devil has always got somebody around you to try to make you do wrong or try to take what God has given you away from you. And sometimes we just dance to the point where we allow it. You got to know your enemy. Just like you say you know God, you know God, you got to know your enemy. You know that he's there. You know what he's capable of. You know what he's capable of. I know what God is capable of. Yeah, and I know what God will do. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's all good, y'all. Hallelujah. Amen. Our, our unity is having, is knowing our enemy. We got an enemy in common. Everybody got one. So you yeah. can't point the face and say, they got an enemy over there. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. No, no, no. Everybody yeah. got a devil. Yeah. Amen. First Peter 5 and 8. Thank you, Lord. First Peter 5 and 8. Number 7. One day, I mean one day, we will stand before the same judge. We're going to stand before God. Every last one of us. Ain't nobody in here exempt. The baby's done. The baby don't have to stand before God because the baby be saved. The baby will be saved. The mother of the baby going to have to stand before God. The father of the baby going to have to stand before God. Me and you got to stand before God. Every preacher, every pastor, every apostle, every prophet, every evangelist, everybody yes. going to stand before God. Amen. Everybody. Ain't nobody exempt. Oh, God, hallelujah. We're going to stand before the same judge. Romans 14 and 12. So that every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. You're going to have to answer. You're going to have to answer to all your idleness. You're going to have to answer to every one of those words that you've been saying. You're going to have to answer to every voice that you've voiced about somebody. You're going to answer. He said you're going to have to give an account of yourself. It didn't say you got to give an account of nobody else. It said you have to give an account of yourself. 
Oh, hallelujah. And you got to give an account to God. Is that all right? Amen. God called the church into being as a fellowship. See, God called the church. And he told Peter, upon this rock, I'll build my church. And then he said, the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That's Matthew 16, 16, I believe, or 16 or 18. And they want them in there. It's in there, 18 or 16. Praise be to God, but it's in Matthew. It said, the gates of hell shall not prevail against his church. You know what the devil comes and devil do havoc in your life? Why? Because you allow him to. Yeah, yeah. The Bible tells me, said, resist the devil and he'll flee. Amen. He said, he'll go. He'll go away. That's the word. That's he'll the flee word. from you. But yeah. you got to know how to resist the devil. Yeah. Praise God. And not only that, if you want somebody else to resist the devil and you tell them how to resist, you got to know how to tell them. You got to know how to talk to them. You got to know how. You got. You ain't got to go accuse them of having this and having that and doing the other. Come on here. Quit being an accuser. Praise be to God Almighty. Stop accusing your brothers and your sisters of this. Help them if you know they down. Help them if you know they in sin. Help them to come up out of sin. Amen. Hallelujah. My job is to teach, to nurture, to preach, to tell you the truth. My job is not to birth sheep. Your job is, but you got to know how to birth sheep. You got to know how to bring others in. You got to know how to talk to this other person. You got to know how to do this. This is what, long as we've been teaching this, we ought to know by now what to do, how to do, when to do. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. God called the church into being as a fellowship by the resurrection. You couldn't fellowship if Jesus hadn't got it and the re resurrection of Jesus Christ. You know, that's a thing that has been on my heart, the resurrection of Jesus Christ for so long now, you know, but and then it's going to be taught because what caused him to rise? What, how he got up, how he died, how he was dead and got up out the grave. Mm -hmm. You know, praise God. You know, there's only, there's another, Lazarus, he called Lazarus, he called yeah. Lazarus, he prayed to the Father first. That's right. He prayed to the Father first. But you know what? Lazarus died again. Y'all hear me? Lazarus died. Lazarus died. God brought Jesus, brought him from the dead. But Lazarus died again, but Jesus did not die. He's still alive. Yeah. Jesus did not die. He is still alive, but Lazarus is dead. Are you hearing me? Amen. I want to be resurrected. Yeah. Like Jesus was resurrected. Because yeah. when I'm resurrected, I want to be in that first resurrection because I ain't going to die no more. Come on, I don't want to die again. Come on, saints. I'm a believer. I'm of the church. I'm the church of God. Yeah. A believer of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I walk in a fellowship with him. You got to learn how to fellowship with him. You ain't you. I'm so lonely. Why? Why are you so lonely for? Jesus is right there. You ain't got no business being lonely. He's right there. Fellowship with him. Talk to him. Yeah, he is. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen, God. He brings that church in by his resurrection of our, his, his son, Jesus Christ. It was the resurrection of Jesus that transformed tragedy. Uh-huh. I tell you the truth. You know, we go through a lot, don't we? Mm -hmm. He transformed tragedy into triumph. All right. That transformed a, a group of defeated disciples. Because when Jesus, when they got him, yeah. I, I ain't gonna go there because yeah. that's said too much. Up. But the disciples ran away. They did. They ran away. And the only thing it is, why, why, why are you running? Why you don't run to him instead of running away from him? Hallelujah. They was defeated because Jesus ain't gonna be there no more. Matthew 16, 16. That's when Jesus, uh, Peter confessed that Jesus of Nazareth was the Christ, the son of the living God. He confessed that, that Jesus is the Christ. What do you say? Is he the Christ? Is the anointed one? Yeah. Is he the anointed one in his anointing? Amen. He, his name is Jesus. Amen. His name is Jesus. Emmanuel with us. That's, that's in Matthew 1. Emmanuel is called Emmanuel with us. Amen. That's his name. But then when they name gave him Jesus Christ, that's his anointing. That is his anointing. His his cousin said, prepare the way 
he went to prepare the way for Jesus. Yes. Amen. He said, I must decrease so that he can increase. Come on. We ain't trying to put nobody else before us. This is what's wrong with the church. We ain't trying to put nobody. We don't want nobody else to go for. We don't want nobody else. We get mad. If somebody else start going for or start doing a little bit more than we think they ought to be doing. Come on. Uh, uh, they, ain't, they ain't got no business doing that. Or they ain't, and what you, how you know what they got business doing? The only thing it is, you got to take care of you. What you got business doing? about that? What do you have business doing? You ain't got no business doing what I got business doing. Come on. God gave me my business. Who gave you yours? He didn't tell you to get into everybody else's. Did he tell you? He said, go on over there and get into uh, Brother Chris' business. No, he didn't say that. He didn't say, watch him, watch him, watch him. He didn't tell nobody, watch nobody. He said, watch and pray. All right, all right, that's the word. I ain't got no time for that. I am too busy reading my word. You know, I don't watch no lot of TV because I don't need to see all, all of them naked folks on there shaking it. And every time you turn the TV on, that's all you see. And so I just turn it off and get into my word. Praise God. I got books and Bibles. They're falling out of everywhere because they're everywhere. I can't hardly sit down with them. They, they, they are falling on me, falling on the floor. Ooh, glee. Glory to God. Help me, Jesus. Yeah, we got to know what we're doing. As a born-again believer, you got to know what God calls you to do and what God calls you to be. Don't you think? Amen. Hallelujah. All right, then. It was Jesus. Amen. Resurrection from the dead. In Romans 1 and 4, that identified and vindicated him, amen, to indeed be the Christ of God. Indeed, who had come with great power and authority. Listen to this, Matthew 28, 18 through 20. And he, he gave his disciples, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Tell folks about Jesus. What is the gospel? The good news is that Jesus is coming back. He's coming back, y'all. That's good news. He's coming back. Praise be to God. Your salvation, that's not the good news. That salvation is for you. But you can go into all the world, preach God, tell, tell everybody that you know Jesus is coming back. Hallelujah. He is coming back. And he's coming back for his church. Amen. You that are not his church is going another place. Hallelujah. The devil is waiting for you. You hear me? I said the devil is waiting for you. In baptism, we affirm that our belief, and we declare it, our belief in Christ. Amen? That's in baptism. That's when you go down. And somebody go down a, a dry devil, and they come up a wet devil. That's in baptism. I'm talking about the baptism in water now. You affirm that Jesus is went down because he was buried. He was buried, and he rose again. You, when you go down in the water, you are buried underneath the water. He didn't, they didn't take a little water spray it on top of your head. No, you was buried in baptism. Amen. It declares our belief in Christ. It is by the messenger of the resurrection. Of that resurrection Christ. Resurrected Christ. I'm trying to tell y'all something. I, I, I know this has been maybe a bit long. I don't know how long I'm going, but it's long enough. It's going to be, I'm going to get it done. I'm going to get it done because you need to hear it. I ain't got a lot more to go, but you need to hear it all. I ain't going to give you some of it, and then don't give me the rest. Christ said, it said that God called the church as a fellowship into the into me. In John 12 and 32, John, Jesus affirmed in 5, Romans 5 and 8, Jesus gave proof of God's love <coughs> for sinners. God bless you, sister. Glad you came. 1 Corinthians 2 and 2. Are you here? I said 1 Corinthians 2 and 2. The preaching of the crucified Savior. I'm trying to tell you. Psalm said, I believe in Paul. I believe in but I'm going to try to tell you something myself. I believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's it. And that's true. If you want to read it, that one is said for two, one, not one and 18. 
down here, and it said in 22, for the Jews require a sign, and the Greek seek after wisdom. But Paul said, but we, in other words, preach Christ. What do you preach? Crucify. Unto the Jews, a stumbling block. And unto the Greek, it was foolishness. And right now, when you talk about Jesus, a lot of folks, it's foolishness to them. They don't want to hear. And you got a lot of folks that say they say, don't want to hear. I don't want to hear about that. No, but we got to tell it in how you don't want to hear it. That's okay. That's okay. I'll shake the dust off and walk off. I'll shake the dust off and go head on because I can't make you receive it. But the one thing about it, you ought to know. The preaching of a crucified Savior by means of the Holy Spirit. Now, on the day of Pentecost, now we understand that as uh, Acts 2 and 1 said when the day of Pentecost was fully come, you know, we was always in one place, you know. It's a thing that you did. If you read that and know, you'll know about it. If you read Acts about the Holy Spirit, you will know what happened on the day of Pentecost. Mm -hmm. It was a powerful day. Yeah. It gave his church the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit being conviction, brings conviction of sin. Do you know you're not, if you don't have any, you'll be convicted because you don't find, you know, you know, it's okay. It's okay that I do this and I do that. If God wanted you to smoke, he gave you a smokestack. Sit on top of your head. <laughs> So that you would, when you puff it, it'll come up out of it. Come on. If God wanted you to do these things, He wouldn't have put them in there. Thou shalt not commit this. Thou shalt not do that. And 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 then in, in Galilee and any such thing. See, when they we go down there, when they name all these other things that you shouldn't do, and then at the end of that verse, it said, "At any such thing." So what is any such thing? Anything that's not like Christ? Anything that you ought not to do? Anything that you know you're doing and you ought not to do it? Are you there? Yeah. Are you here yet? Amen. To the heart of the believers. John 16. See, you run these scriptures, you run these, you read these scriptures, and you, you it tells you everything that I'm talking about. 7 through 11. John 16, 7 through 11. The Holy Spirit brings about the miracle of the new birth. John 3, 5 and 7. And Titus 5, 3. In fact, if you feel today, if you, anybody in here feel today a tug at your heart, the Holy Spirit is seeking to bring you to the joy of forgiveness. He's seeking to bring you to the things that you, he knows that you ought not to be doing. He's seeking to bring you there. If he's tugging, if anything is tugging at your heart, don't let it go. Amen. And into right relationship. Because we all got to have a right relationship with God. John 3, 17, you know that's right down there after 16. Uh, Jesus commissioned you and me to witness for him. He commissioned his body to, to be a witness unto him. Amen. We don't, if don't, they don't want to hear, well, I tell them, well, Jesus loves you. The church as a witness in the world is the world only hope. Did you know that? You as a witness yeah. is this world's only hope. Yeah, amen. Praise God. If you stop and think about that, mm -hmm. well, let's just tell others that God loves them. Yeah. But you got to have some love in your heart too. All right. Come on. You don't love. How can you tell me? I, can't, I don't know. You know, you love. That's that. I look at you say, you love. Yeah. And you acting like a heathen, but you love. How you know God loves? God loves you too, just like He loves me. So you trying to tell me that God loves me, and then you ain't allowing God to love you. Okay. All right. God needs your personal testimony to call others out. Your personal testimony. Your test personal testimony is not about somebody else. Your personal testimony is not about your family. It's not about your friends not about somebody else. It's about you. It is about you. 
what God did for you, yeah. where God brought you from. That's what your personal testimony is. All right? Amen. Amen. God called you out of darkness, didn't he? Amen. 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 How, how do you know he called that, 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 that your friend out of darkness? How do you know that? Are they walking up right? Are they walking the way you walk? Can y'all fellowship together in word, in prayer? Can you do that? Besides sitting out eating and then talking about your neighbor? Look at how they eat over there. Look at that place. Ooh. You're talking about somebody when you're doing that. Why are you talking about somebody else? Pay attention to your own self. Amen. We got to learn how to do our own thing. And as I get ready to close, I am. I'm getting ready to close out here. I am. As I close, God is a God of God. God, I don't know. Maybe I, I don't used to be this soft, but I am. God is a God of love. And God is calling you to that. And you need to say it in your heart. God is, God is calling me. God is calling you today by a resurrected living Christ. By the resurrected living anointing, God is calling you into his anointing. God is calling you to give you some authority. Amen. You can't. God has to give you authority. Praise be God Almighty. Is that okay? Yeah, it is. He's calling you by his Holy Spirit. He's telling the testimony of his children. God is calling you to testify. He's calling you today because he needs you to help him. Now, he, could, he, could, he don't have to need you, but he wants you to help him because you are his children. You are his born-again believers, and he wants you to help him to reach others. Why, why would he call you to do that? I ain't saw in the word of God nowhere that God called any man, woman, or child to come in here and say, I called you to sit down. I called you to get on one of them chairs and don't move. God ain't called nobody for that. He called us to be a worker, a witness for him. In the name of Jesus, I'm just thankful. And as I close right now, this is my last statement that I'm going to make. God is earnest and God is faithful. And you can show your trust, you trust him. You can show that you trust him by putting your faith in him. God bless you on today. God bless you every day of your life. God bless you all when he wake you up in the morning and start you on your way. God bless you. Access Vision, your voice, your community.